Hi folks, T. Witty here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Forest. Forgot to grab a beverage. BRB. It's been a minute. Been a minute since I played this game. Been a minute since I played any game. Ugh. Adulthood bites, man. You know, my generation doesn't even get to retire, but let's pretend that pipe dream is still real. By the time I'm old enough, I wouldn't have the reflexes to play most video games anymore. Anyway. Oh well. Here we go. Um, I have two kind of potential goals in mind. Since we finally unlocked some... Uh, Achievements I thought I was going to be locked out of. I'm pretty excited, but uh, we get an achieve. There's a hidden achievement in this one for using and building the gazebo blueprint. I'm going to do that first. Let's do it. You know, right over here about. Cloth. Get the cloth, man. That's what we're constantly using in the caves. And then once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can't clear out the next cave on our list, Cave 7. Cave 7 has lots of good stuff in it, and it's one we will be revisiting when we're ready to finish the game, because it is the intended way to the bottom of the sinkhole. Which is where the end game happens. Well, exciting stuff, but for now... Let's just pop into the woods and build a gazebo. See how much stuff we need in order to do that. Don't think it's a shelter. Sixty sticks and thirty plus logs. There you go. That's a big project. at a time. Remember that too. There's all the sticks we need. Nice. All right. And 30 logs. We got some trees to cut. This will also help us make progress on the uh, climate change and don't save the forest achievements.
animals. I really don't like it when they do that. It is, in a word, unnerving. How did I get covered in blood? There's nothing around to be bleeding. Oh well. Be real quick about that, thankfully. Make sure I did not, in fact, get infected. I did not. Good. Doing pretty well on calories. Just keep working on... Today's construction project, at least for s to start with. Almost there. Cut one more tree and we'll have it. Boomy. Achievement unlocked. You should be looking for Timmy. Which is hilarious and true. Build a gazebo. Alright. How are we doing? 
Stats are looking good. It's starting to get dark. How am I doing on climate change or don't save the forest, whichever one is first? I need to cut down 931 more trees. So, you know. Can I build with just three logs? Let's build a bench. Don't need storage, don't need shelter. Uh oh, furniture. Let's rest and get some energy back. Then, considering it's almost sundown, I think I'll cut a couple more trees, and then we'll go swim, raise athleticism. Once it gets dark. I don't have a lot of building left I actually need to do. Which is wild, but nice to be able to nice to reflect on and realize that's a true statement. That's my sap collector, I don't want to mess with that. I do want to run back to my home base. I want to put those fish I just caught on the drying rack. So I can get some actual food supply going. Let's get my cassette tape out while I'm at it. Never gets old. if it's possible. I'd like to get to the yacht without aggroing the shark. Let's see if we can do it. I did take off the rebreather already, that's good. That's important, even. Waster collected? I had no idea I could do such a thing. Here we go. 
That's what I wanted. Okay. Can't carry any more rope. Fair enough. How am I doing stats wise? Strength is up. Athleticism is getting there. For reasons I have previously outlined, raising athleticism is significantly more important than um, <clears throat> strength. I mean, they're both important, but you know what I mean, I think. All right, 2675. That said, I see no real reason not to do strength for the next little bit. Until such time as I hit my 3,200 calories, and then we'll still be able to raise athleticism. Twenty-nine fifty-four. We're close. Alright, we done? Looks like we're done for now. We'll see how things go. I think uh, the achievement for cutting down a thousand trees, that's going to take a while to unlock. But I don't want to do things off screen, like particularly in this game, because so much of it is like procedural and reactive and survival based, so I'll come up with something to do. But the gazebo achievement was like the last super concrete thing that I could do before the, uh, apart from going in the caves. But I could go around, you know, the, I guess the other thing I could do this episode, rather than go for Cave 7, is I could, I could go after the last mushroom and get the, uh, you're a fun guy achievement. I'd have to look in my guidebook and see precisely which one I'm missing. And I can go merrily cut down trees as I look for it. And as long as I also do a good job working on my stats, that'll actually make this a pretty productive episode, even if I don't explore a cave this time. 
maybe what I'll do is alternate. Oh, I'm cold, am I? Well, that's some nonsense, but fine. Gotta put on the warm suit. It's gonna restore our energy as well. Yeah, that's a that's a reasonable idea. And then, apart from that, <laughs> the problem is, once I do that, there's like nothing left except to explore the cave. So we already got crafty. I guess there are a few others. I can use explosives to cut down multiple trees at once. That would certainly speed it up. What the hell? Oh. I was about to get so mad, I was like, how did I get so far underwater? Don't you try and tell me. Yeah, so other than at the moment, the remaining achievements, other than the ones that are explicitly tied to the finishing the story, are cut a hundred trees and cut a thousand trees. I gotta find... I'm, I'm only missing one kind of mushroom. I've already eaten five out of six, so we just have to go hunt that down. There's one for setting off 20 bombs total. There's one for knocking down six trees or more with one bomb. What I don't know is... Whether knocking trees down with a bomb counts for the cutting trees down achievement or not, but we'll find out. Then there's <clears throat> then there are a couple there's at least one that I will or would if I choose to, I would have to do in a second playthrough that I would speed run. That's vegan. multiplayer achievements, which I do not care about, so we're actually, like, kinda close. There's not that much left to do, like, I don't think I realized until just now. We're pretty close to done with this game. We have... four caves left to explore. We've got the mushroom and the thousand trees. We've got the bombs. There is pacifist. Not, don't kill any cannibals for ten days. There's world's worst dad, which is survive for a hundred days total. We're on day forty-five, so that one could that one could take a while. It's really just a question of like what's most productive to do. I feel like it's actually not a terrible idea to spend a few episodes just cutting down trees and running up our stats before we go after the last four caves. Because the caves are definitely getting progressively harder. I might want to do... But, you know, the flip side of that is as I explore the caves, I get more tools. Like, Cave 7 has a bunch of good stuff in it. And in fact, it's got... It's got one thing that we need for a pretty long-term achievement, so I think I will try to go ahead and do Cave 7 no later than the next episode. Because there's a, there's a pedometer you get inside Cave 7, <clears throat> and you get an achievement. Oyster. They add oysters in an update in the couple weeks it's been since I last played. Like, that'd be wild. I thought they were done updating this game. Maybe they're adding some things that were... Maybe they're, like, backfilling some stuff from Sons of the Forest into this game. Like they sometimes do. I heard a 
kid scream. It was just a solitary scream. It would be continued screaming if someone was hurt. Emotional wound only. Yeah, so... Here's, here's the bottom line. I, I guess it's probably more sensible to do the four caves other than, like, the final cave at the bottom of the sinkhole that wraps up the story and ends the game. It probably makes the most sense to do those four caves first. Get all the tools and whatnot that are inside them. Then, like, that'll take, like, four more days, so I'll already be, like, day 50 plus. And then, like, I won't have anything left to do. Except, you know, we're trying to survive for a hundred days. Alright. 62.7 athleticism. That ain't bad, friends. That ain't bad at all. Raw oyster. Edible. Calories 10. I feel like that, that has to be new. Anyway. Let's have a soda. 800, 1200, 1600, 2000, 2400, 2800, 3200. Very good. Alright, now the game cheats, so can I, right? So we'll save, we'll reload. We'll keep doing that until we've refilled our snack and soda supply. And the caves... The caves typically take me an entire hour. And I've already been in this episode for 30 minutes. So for this one, I will, um... Stick with my plan of trying to track down that sixth and final mushroom while I merrily cut down a bunch of trees. Yeah, we're on day 46. Before I forget, I'm going to change out of my warm suit and put all my armor back on, too. <coughs> Creepy armor. One, two, three, four bone armor. I have noticed... I don't know if it's a glitch or if they're actually punishing you, but I do lose one piece of armor every time I change to the warm suit or back to the warm suit. Ba or back out of the warm suit. Like, every time I put the warm suit on, one piece of armor disappears. Which seems kind of shitty, but... I guess when you're in the business of killing cannibals, it's not that bad. Um, hearts are... I also, um, I've been thinking about strength and how generally useless melee combat is in this game. And it's actually not that useless. I did pretty well with it as long as I had a decent amount of armor on. But, um, that's not actually the point I'm trying to make. One more soda. I bet that melee is much more viable if you're not on hard survival. <laughs> um, but one one reason I do think, like, at minimum I should go ahead and go to Cave 7 kind of early is, um... It's got the modern bow in it. And as we have learned over the course of this playthrough... Ranged combat is the way, <laughs> right? Okay. So I'm going to reload when I'm done here just to get the time back. For now, I do want to look at my nature guide. Chanterelle mushroom. I can't tell which ones I've already eaten. Fly agaric, jack-o'-lantern, liberty cap, poison puff. Okay, well, that's three, three out of six.
All right, let's go. Let's go on a mushroom hunt. We'll just merrily cut down a bunch of trees while we're at it. Keep on creeping up athleticism, too. I already feel like... This might be a dumb thing to say. I already feel like I'm fast enough. <laughs> like... Because lately I've had a pretty easy time running away from any enemies that do get wind of me. But... I'm also still not even two-thirds of the way to the ceiling. Which suggests that I could be significantly faster, and given that, why the heck would I want to do anything else? It didn't increment at all. Maybe it only does it when I, when I like fully exit and there's a steam cloud sink and I reload. Alright, we're on a mushroom hunt. Here we go. What is this? New plant discovered. That would be a jack-o'-lantern mushroom. That would not be the one I hadn't eaten yet. Alright, fair enough. Let's pop a meds. Oh, hi. No cloth? I was gonna say, there's always cloth, come on. Alright, mushrooms. Where are my mushrooms at? I mean, I have... I feel like I've definitely eaten the three that were in my guidebook. It's a new and unnerving sound. I do not like it, Sam I am. Generally I prefer to be running. So I keep my athleticism creeping up while I'm doing other things. Get the cloth, dummy. It should be so obvious I don't care about anything I can't carry. Oh boy. Here they all are. Go, baby. That's definitely one I had already seen. Boy, he is not letting up. Probably have to cross some water to get rid of him. Maybe not.
Hmm. Well, not much to be seen out that way. It's our, our, in that little corner of the trees. You know what? That's fine. It'll be fine, just fine. Mushrooms in shady areas and not in places that are like big and open to the sunshine. It's certainly observationally true for me so far this playthrough. It took me so damn long to find a raccoon, and then just boop, there's one. Fascinating. Alright. back to the trees. I do have a specific purpose here. I just run in a big ass circle. Not actually accomplish anything. It sure looks that way. Doesn't it? I kind of want to head north. I feel like by the time I got around to exploring that part of the map, I was not really into eating mushrooms anymore. And I hadn't paid attention to the uh, issue of this achievement until just then, so. I mean, I got the 5 out of 6 without paying any attention, but... We are now trying to find 6 out of 6. That is a different endeavor. I'm just gonna say it. If there are bones visible on the model of whatever thing I'm breaking, then it stands to reason that when I smash it, bones should be one of the materials I can harvest off of it. Am I crazy? That just makes sense to me. Oh hey, look. Some actual good dried food. Two dried rabbits and a dried lizard. All right. Let's hang my two bits of meat so they can similarly dry. <laughs> Let's get back to mushroom hunting. Gotta be some around here soon. <laughs> can't, can't all be down in the starting zone. Twenty-one burnt. 
athleticism's going up like a champ. It's the main thing I want. Oh, there certainly don't seem to be any mushrooms in here, do there? Here, not. Come on, baby, energy. up here and that's good those are rare -er. chicory and marigold are everywhere near my base I don't think there are gonna be any mushrooms in the actual snow either something. No. No, I did not. This feels like something I may not have... This, this feels like a pretty new area to me. Lizard! A oh, weapon. Balls. Get him. Hey, there's a mushroom. There's one I have already found, it would seem. And it is also of the harmful persuasion.
Yeah, I gotta trust the whole nature guide thing. Make sure you drop the raw one. Keep the dried one. There you go. Very good. Alright. Well... A little stumped about what I should do next. I, mean, I guess I can roll up here. I had a pretty good secondary base up here that I remember. We can just do more stats work. It's not very satisfying though, well, is it? At it. Can't carry any more rabbit fur. There's something I never expected to read. That's just a boar. I need to get our knickers in a twist over that. Border of the cold zone. There's another mushroom. There's another mushroom. Seems to be another one we've already found. <laughs> How did I get wet? Where do you get off accusing me of being wet? Doesn't make any sense. Alright, well... There are a couple of varieties up here, but... They don't seem to be getting me anywhere good. None of them are the right one. It's as simple as that. Here's that base I knew I had built and spent some some significant time in, because this is where I did all my boar hunting, right? Up around here, as I recall. Oh, hey, look at that. Nice dried meat. Well, that'd be great for my next day. It's another one of those. Which one is that? It's not Poison Puff. Jack-o-lantern, Fly Agaric. Chanterelle. Deer mushroom. Alright, well, I think that's a poison puff. Which, really, everything you need to know is already in the name. So I guess today just becomes another stat leveling day. some trees, I suppose.
decent way to raise our strength, too, so... Keep my eyes on my calories. 1506. new animal discovered. And what would that be? Here in the middle of the night. Seventy two. Getting there. as well. Two meat collected. Let's stick it on our drying rack over here. Thank you. He was actually smart enough to just keep the two that were dried. I have to admit I didn't expect him. just so conveniently do that for me. They found me, but they did.
Go, dude. Sharks. That's some wild stuff. How are we doing? Twenty three ninety nine. Good moon tonight, that's helping me run home. Okay, well, today ended up being largely wasted. Though not quite entirely wasted. Because in the end, we will have had the, uh, well, we made a lot of progress cutting trees. Also have had the uh, uh, stat ups, of course. More strength, more athleticism. So those are always good things. so we gotta get out of the water. I guess I can put it back on. No cannibals after. I do not currently have cannibals riding my ass, so... Isn't it? How? How am I covered in blood? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. I was running through the forest. I didn't get in a fight. Gotta find some water, I guess. Oh, good. That was convenient. Oh, we made it too. Alright, now, did I manage to avoid infection? I did. Good. Okay. Let's get back to base. save, and then we'll work on maximum stat boost for today, and then we'll call it an episode, because we've been going an hour. There it is. Fam. Alright, we need some light now. That's okay, though. Alright. First things first, we'll rest and get our energy back, and we'll 
do some melee attacking just until we get our uh, <clears throat> we hit our calorie burn allotment while still keeping our strength happy. We'll go work on athleticism until until sunrise. Didn't mean to destroy my own blueberry plant like that. But I don't think it's going to hurt me much either. 2878. Moon's almost down. 3,082. 31,39. 3,202. That's just about perfect. Oh, and look at that. Just like that. We're already set. Okay, cool. Let's drink some clear water. Should still have some in some of these catchers, I think. Maybe not. I don't know, but I found these results on search. Oh, Jesus Christ. Google display scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, goodness. Loud Google display. That's all that was. Alright, here we go. Uh, same old, same old, right? Drink enough soda to get our thirst in check. Start a fire. Can insta cook our dried meat, some of it anyway. That's 2600. And I suppose I can just eat that rabbit as soon as it's done cooking. We'll be all set. Great. Alright. That, my friends, is going to do it for this installment of Let's Play the Forest. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, I hope you will give it a like, consider dropping a comment, and subscribing to the channel. If you're interested, please check out my Patreon and my Discord. Those links are both in the video description. Either way, I am grateful for your time and attention. I appreciate you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.